Hi, grade two. So this is an activity I've made for you today where you're going to practice your addition and subtraction of three digit numbers, making your own math game app. So I wanna show you my example first of what I've created. So my game is called Adding Aliens. When I press this button, it starts my game. Now I'm given a question. Now, of course, I have solved this question on my own first to make sure that I have the correct answer using different strategies we've learned in class. So 387 plus 469 equals 923. Oh, I got it wrong. So it's gonna ask me to try again. So I press go back. Now I've double checked my answer and I know that it's 856. So I tap my button and I got it correct. Amazing. So I would press this button in the bottom right to go to the next question. So this is my example game. I'm gonna show you how to make your own now. So what you're going to need is a title slide, a slide for each of your questions, a slide that shows good job or well done, and a slide that says try again, and a slide for your next question. you how to do a lot of the things that will be useful on your next slides on our title page slide. So the first thing that you need to do in any good game is to add a title. So remember that you find text by pressing the plus, going to shapes, and text is right here. Okay, so you just double tap to write what you want. So to make this text larger, I just double tap it, highlight both words, press the paintbrush, Go to size and just keep tapping until I'm happy with the size that it is. I can change the way the letters work by tapping font and selecting it here. And then I just move my picture here. Now the other things that I've added here are keynote shapes and I'm going to show you how to add a keynote shape and change the color of it. So I'm going to press the plus again, press shapes, and I'm going to search for alien. And I can bring him in here like this. Okay, and then I just tap him, use the paintbrush, style, fill, gradient, green, and green. I'm also going to add a border and make that four points. So you can see here I've added the alien's face. The last skill that you're gonna need to know how to do is to add a button. So I'm gonna do that by pressing shapes again. I'm gonna choose this rounded button. Okay, I'm gonna make it about this size, move it in the center. If I double tap, I can write in it. So I'm gonna change that and say start. Again, if I double tap, and I highlight the whole word, paintbrush, text, I can make it bigger, and I can change the font or the way the letters look here and I can change the text color here. Okay, I'm gonna tap my button to change it the way that it looks. I'm gonna press style, gradient, green, green, and do a border like that. So I've showed you how to add text, add a shape, and add a button. These are the main skills you're going to need to do your game. So on your next slide, you're gonna wanna make your first question. So you're gonna need four buttons on this page and you're going to need to have a button for your question, which is right here. Then you're going to have to have a button for the correct answer, which is right here and two buttons for the incorrect answers. Now you're gonna to need to make two more slides for your try again page and your amazing page. Now on each of these slides, you will need a keynote shape, a title, and a button. I'm gonna show you something cool that you can do to add more animations to your game. You're gonna tap on the spaceship, animate, and then you're gonna press add action, create path. 
to make it look like the spaceship is flying across the page. Then you're gonna press the three dots and choose after transition and press done. You're going to repeat this for the shape that you have on your amazing slide. going to do is to turn all of your buttons into active buttons so that they will work for your game. So you do that by tapping the button, press link, and you need to tell the button where you want it to go. So on my start button, I want it to go to slide two because that's my first question. If I go to my next page, if I tap 856, which is the correct answer, I press link, I want that to go to my amazing slide which is slide four. You need to repeat this process for all of your buttons to tell them which page that button should take them to. Once you finish that, you press the three dots, you go to settings, presentation type, links only. Once you've done that, you can see when you press play, if I tap somewhere on the screen, it won't go anywhere until I press start. know the basics, you're ready to repeat this for the rest of your questions. So for each new question slide, remember that you need a try again slide and an amazing slide and to link them all together. I can't wait to see your finished games and I hope you have fun playing them with your families.